It's a matter of life and death. A serious shark attack at Rockaway Beach has prompted a renewed focus on special training at some beaches. As CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, the town of Hempstead wants all ocean lifeguards to know how to stop the bleed when a swimmer is bitten by a shark. They save lives in and out of the water, and now a new skill is needed on our lifeguard stands. Bunch it up. How to stop the bleed of a shark bite. Because the number one preventable cause of um, death after injury is external bleeding. Taught by NYU Langone Hospital Long Island, dozens of town of Hempstead lifeguards are learning quick actions that can save a life. People can bleed to death within three to five minutes from a severe wound. So by using these techniques, you can slow down, if not stop, Stop that bleeding and help them survive. After a record eight shark bites last summer, this year there were five in early July off Long Island, followed by one at Rockaway Beach last week. A woman lost a large chunk of her leg. Those lifeguards did a great job and they were able to stop the bleeding. And they said basically because they were able to stop the bleeding, they were able to save that life. That prompted the town to launch bleed control training and we made a decision with everybody to put tourniquets at all of our lifeguard stands. Pull it out. With more than 30 shark sightings in the last two summers at the town of Hempstead beaches. Lifeguards say this adds a layer of readiness. Personally, I've never experienced a wound that needed a tourniquet, but like knowing, now knowing that I and a lot of the guards down here have that knowledge, that's puts my mind a little bit more at ease. We have seen fewer bites in recent weeks. Experts say there's a reason for that. Bait fish have moved offshore. It's the same activity. It's just that it's been moved several miles offshore for most of this summer as compared to last summer where most of those Menhaden schools were right on the beach all summer long. When bait fish come close to shore, sharks will follow the new normal in our warmer, cleaner waters. In Lido Beach, Long Island, Carolyn Gussel, off CBS 2 News.